In this video, we will show how to install the Microsoft Windows 2019 operating system in UEFI mode by using a Dell Lifecycle controller on a Dell EMC 14th generation PowerEdge system. Before you begin, ensure that you have the Microsoft Windows Server 2019 operating system handy. To begin the process, turn on the system. Press F2 to go to the System Setup page. Click System BIOS, select Boot Settings, ensure that UEFI is set as the boot mode. Click UEFI Boot Settings and then click UEFI Boot Sequence. Please note, before you set your optical drive as a next boot device, check if the server has a physical DVD drive. If a DVD drive is not present in your system, then use a USB DVD drive. If you do not have a USB DVD drive, you can use the virtual media method. If you want to use a virtual media method, then you need to have the Microsoft Windows Server 2019 ISO image ready in your system. In this video, we will be using the virtual media method for installation. Now, click Virtual Media and then click Connect Virtual Media. The Initializing Connection dialog box is displayed. Your virtual optical drive should now be seen under UEFI boot sequence. If the virtual optical drive is not seen, then restart the server and then go back into System Setup. Now, click System BIOS. Select Boot Settings, click UEFI Boot Settings, and then click UEFI Boot Sequence. Make Virtual Optical Drive as your next boot device and then click OK. Then click back twice. Click Finish and then click Yes to save the changes. Click Finish to exit the System Setup page and then click Yes to reboot the system. Now press F10 to go to the Lifecycle Controller. Click OS Deployment. Next, click Deploy OS. If the virtual disk is not present, you'll be redirected to the RAID Configuration Wizard to create a virtual disk. Select Configure RAID First to create a new virtual disk. You can also select this option to edit the attributes of an existing virtual disk. If the virtual disk is already present, select Go Directly to OS Deployment and then click Next. Under Available Operating Systems, select Microsoft Windows 2019 and then click Next. Note that if the available options do not list Windows Server 2019, then you have to download the latest OS driver pack from dell.com forward slash support and update the driver pack on the server before you restart the installation by using Lifecycle Controller. The system loads the relevant drivers for the selected OS. This will take less than five minutes to compose the OS drivers. Select Manual Install as the installation method and then click Next. On the Insert OS Media page, click Virtual Media and then click Map CD DVD to map this device. In the dialog box, click Browse to select the Microsoft Windows 2019 ISO image and then click Map Device. Validating the operating system media will take less than two minutes. The settings are summarized on this page. Click Finish to apply the settings. Once the settings have been applied, the system will reboot and start the OS deployment. Once the system restarts, you'll be prompted to press any key to start the installation. If any key is pressed, the OS installation starts. If no key is pressed, the system does not proceed with the installation and the system might return back to the F1, F2 screen, or the system boots in the existing operating system. In which case, restart the system and retry the installation. After the files are loaded, select the appropriate language in which you want to install the OS. Note, if you want to choose another language, reboot the system, boot back into the OS media, and then choose the desired language. You can select the time and currency format of your region, select keyboard or input method, and then click Next to continue. At this point, click Install Now. This operation might take a while to complete. Note that if you want to install the full OS, then select the Windows Server 2019 desktop experience, and then click Next. Read the license agreement. If you agree to the license terms, select I accept the license terms, and then click Next. Select Custom, Install Windows Only. In the Windows Setup dialog box, click New and then click Apply. Click OK. The drive partitions are created. After this, select the drive where you want to install Microsoft Windows 2019, and then click Next to begin the installation. 
Note that the system will restart a few times while the installation is in progress. After the installation is successful, the system restarts again. After the system restarts, you have to set up the password for the default username, Administrator, and then click Finish. Click Macros, and then click Control-Alt-Delete. Now, you can log into Microsoft Windows Server 2019 using the Administrator credentials. Dell EMC highly recommends that you install the latest hotfixes and security updates from Microsoft on your system by using Windows Updates or by downloading the latest updates after installing the operating system. For more information, visit the OS and Applications Knowledge Base at dell.com forward slash support.